to New Delhi, capital of India, in November 1956, came delegates from 77 countries to attend the ninth conference of UNESCO. The conference opened on November 5th, 1956. Prime Minister Nehru of India stated the case eloquently. The UNESCO organization came to represent something that was vital to human existence and progress. UNESCO delegates tackled three major areas. One of the greatest problems is that of arid lands. UNESCO experts estimate that a minimum of 300 million acres of the world's arid zones could be made productive. The second major project on the UNESCO agenda was extension of primary education in Latin America. The use of simultaneous translations greatly aided delegates' deliberations. The remarks are immediately interpreted in Spanish, in French, in Russian. In any language, the news was good. Delegates determined that UNESCO aid and encouragement, combined with the long-established programs for free and compulsory education in Latin American countries, could help attain universal primary education within a few decades. The third major project selected by UNESCO was the vital consideration of mutual appreciation of Eastern and Western cultural values. Cultural exchange is people meeting people through an interchange of music, drama, literature, art, and ideas. Three new countries were voted to UNESCO membership Morocco, Tunisia, and the Sudan, thus raising total membership to 80 countries.